This is what it takes to win games. When we were in LA and we did it, everyone was all about it. Yes. They loved going for the fourth downs then. They loved the onside kick back then. If, if you're down double digits and you at some point you need an extra possession, would you rather have to onside the kick when they see or know you have to? Yeah. Or be unpredictable. Unpredictable. Yeah. You gotta put your nuts on the table if you wanna win. He talked about uh what? Damn. Alright, sorry. Oh my right. good lord. He, he, ta he talked about uh how uh all right, onside kick, yeah. Said, hey, is it, is it fair to question Dan Campbell yet? And I think, and I, and I, I, I could be wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because again, I was triggered. And you know, people are triggered. They don't think rationally. But I, I heard it was somewhere along the lines of the uh, onside kick. And I gotta be honest with you, I, I saw a lot of the beef on Twitter about that. A too. lot of people were talking about it. I didn't have beef with it. No, I really did it. If if you're down double digits and you at some point you need an extra possession, yeah, you're, you're, it's coming down to it in the second half. You're gonna possibly have to onside kick either way. Would you rather have to onside the kick when they see or know you have to? Yeah. Or be unpredictable. Unpredictable. Yeah. That's fair, man. I, I Ryan Armani, I think, gave the best point on this topic. He talked about it on Armani and Edwards with Maz. He talked about uh what? Damn. All right. Are, sorry, oh my right. good lord. <laughs> he he, ta he talked about uh how. Uh, all right, onside kick. Yeah, he talked Jeez about. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he talked about how oh, the defense couldn't stop anybody. The defense couldn't stop them at that point. Yeah, you know. So, would you take the risk in in giving them the ball back, where it's, you know, you're losing what thirty yards on the onside kick, yeah. with the potential to get that back for your offense? I, I think that's a risk you're willing to take when your defense is struggling like they were at that point in the game. The upside of getting the ball back and having the possession compared to the 30 yards you lose on if you lose the ball, yeah. I think is the risk far outweighs or the reward far yeah. outweigh, outweighs the risk. And, and, that, and that's coming off of too, like the half where you actually stopped them at the goal line yes. and forced them to kick a field goal. On top of that, too, it's such a hindsight like thing to say, you know what I'm saying? Because last year, when we were in LA for our like Super Bowl game, if you will, when we did it. Everyone was all about it. Yes. They loved going for the fourth downs then. They loved the onside kick back then. And don't forget that Dan Campbell comes from the regime of Sean Payton who did it in the Super Bowl against the Colts to win the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I don't – no pussyfoot around when it comes to Dan Campbell. Right? This guy's really about biz. You know what I'm saying? He's about yes. crushing kneecaps. And, and that you got to take those type of risks. You got to put your nuts on the table if you want to win. You yeah. just absolutely have to. You have to. When you're in a position like the Lions were where they're – Obviously, the the worst team, you know, where, where they're not the better team, where they're being outplayed, you need to put yourself in every position you have. Go to two camps, sus. To be in every shot, thank you. Appreciate you. To be in every shot you can to get points. To be in every shot you can to change the, the, the genre of the game, to change the narrative of the game. And plays like that, onside kicks, you get it back. You're right there. You're ready to score again, and, and it changes the momentum. So I don't think just because they missed it, people are saying, oh, you know, bad. Oh, same old Lions. I can't believe you do that call. Dan Campbell, he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. The guy is trying to beat a better team. To, a, a, a better team like the Eagles isn't just going to give you the victory. You have to go and take it. And when he sees that his defense is being thrashed like they were at that point in the game, you need to go and take a possession. You need to go and take points by getting something like that, yeah. by doing something like that that other people aren't expecting, that the team is not expecting, yeah. just to steal a possession from them because that can change the game. It's so fucking weak, bro. Yeah. Like, don't give me that shit. This is what it takes to win games. Literally, again, like I said, that's how he won a Super Bowl alongside Sean Payton and doing that. He did it last year against the Rams. It's a hindsight 50-50 thing. Don't give me that bullshit Does it oh, at that point in the game. No. Like I said, are you going to onside the ball when you, they know you have to or when it's least expected? At that point, it's on execution. You know what I'm saying? The kick was kicked literally to, right to the guy. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And, like, that, that, don't question Dan Campbell. On top of that, too, we still had opportunity to win the effing game, man. Yeah. Three points. Yes, it was very close. And a very question. And it, I, was, I mean, maybe he got over the fourth down line or not. But they're saying at the very end that, that we had to cross the plane. They just, I think it was fourth down, third down. Huh? Yeah. Nonetheless, we still had a very much opportunity to win. We, you know what I'm saying? To say, yes. like, oh, that would cost the game. That Bullshit. Three points in the game that your quarterback gave the other team six points, and you're blaming on an onside kick? Yeah. No, that is not Dan Campbell's fault. That's I, that's I wild like that call. If, if, if they get that ball back, everybody's saying, Dan Campbell, call of the year. Look at the, look at the guts it takes him. Yeah, the guy's a genius. He went out there and did it and stole that possession, but because it didn't work, 
because they didn't get it back, everybody's here talking smack about him. Like, come on. I agree. Weak. 100%. Weak. Dan Campbell needs to put results on the field. You don't know who he is as a, as a head coach just yet until he produces some wins. Bottom line, that is what the NFL about is about winning games. So you need him to go out there and produce results. But I'm not blaming this loss because he went for that onside kick. That's just that's just ridiculous to me. 100%. I mean, that's what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'll go back to the L.A. Rams game again. You know what I'm saying? All the, the, the fourth downs they went for, the, the fake punts, the, the onside kick then, like, the shit was brilliant, and it kept us in a game that we should have been out of, Smitty. We had no business being in that no game business. last year with that team specifically. Now, cut to this year, obviously a little bit more of a fighting chance than we did last year against the Super Bowl-winning Rams, but still, that's what you got to do to win. To, to, like, hold that over as, like, a, a coaching thing, like, that's it's just stupid to me. If there's anything to question to him as a coach from yesterday, I'd probably go to him. There's 54 seconds left on the clock, yes. and they took that timeout yeah. right before the half. Because at that point, obviously, we stopped them at the goal line, and, and they still have time to kick that field goal. Yeah. Had we not called that timeout, maybe that's not, you know. That it, is it, definitely the question, is the clock management late in the first half. That is yeah. what, that is, that's I the only question I have. A lot of people bringing that up, and that is a valid point. But the onside kick, man, it's, like I said, you're going against a better team. You need to steal points and steal possession somehow. He felt that was the best place to do it, which I agree with him. Because at that point, his defense was getting torched. They couldn't stop the Eagles. Yeah. So why would you put them back out there after they're tired, after they just got torched? You know, we went and scored, but they're still, yeah. you know, they're a tired defense. They've been on the field a lot. We need we needed that, and it didn't work out, unfortunately, but I like the call. And my audio coming through? Yeah. 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 Okay. It's just there was something in the background. Okay, got you, got you. All right. But my point was my point was being that with this, with this defense, the, the Philly defense was just killing it at this point. And we needed something to score. We needed some type of momentum change. And that was the only way we were going to do it was through that. No, yeah, I'm, I'm not checking the onside kick stuff. Like, people bitch about that. It's, I mean, just it's weak. It's weak. Had he got it, you'd be like, oh, Dan Campbell, he's so ballsy. I love him. Like, it's, just, it's, it's weak. It's weak shit. It's such a hindsight thing to do. Yeah. I love it Captain when they go for it on fourth down. I love when they go on onside kicks because ultimately that's what it takes to win games. Football is a game of inches. You know what I'm saying? Just like later tonight, might be a game and no, I'm playing. Shout out to the Shut up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the only thing I questioned again was the timeout with the 54 seconds left because even if you had the ball back, look, those be maybe has higher expectations Jared Goff than we do, but, like, come on, dude. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, 40 seconds, you, you, you know, you really think you guys are about to score? But, I mean, whatever. I'm saying I'm mad at it. I'm just – the field goal stuff, I'm not putting his coaching into question, especially, like, just – being in the game, or just like from what we saw last year, too, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like Dan Campbell as a coach. I know it may be still be early to say that, but, like, I do. I have faith that he's a good coach. I think last year, just the fact when he fired Anthony Lynn as a leader and just saw, like, or seeing what was going wrong and, and being able to, or willing to make the change, obviously benefited the team in the long run because we're seeing this offense night and day from last year. I know there's extra weapons as well, but I, Dan Campbell, to me, I'm not calling out his coaching because of the onside thing. It's, it's, it's such a weak point. It is a weak, weak point. It's, it's a weak point. It's, you can call his coaching out because of his clock management. You can call his coaching out because he hasn't won many games. But don't focus on this one onside kick. It's, oh, that's why he's a bad coach. That's why. That's the same old Lions. Yeah. It's, no, it, he's making a risk. He's taking a play, like I said, for the betterment of the team to try to swing momentum, to try to do something to put this game in his favor. But the chances of getting it are so low. It's okay, and and again, if you get the ball w when the team is not expecting it, it's a thirty-point gap or a thir a thirty-yard gap from when you would kick it off to them compared to where they got it on the onside kick. So I'll take that thirty yards compared to the potential of us stealing a possession from the Eagles. Yeah, uh, uh, it's, I someone I think it's Elijah or something like that. So you got hope that Dan learns. No, I don't. I hope he continues beating himself because, like I said, we still had every opportunity to win the goddamn game. Come time to it. I'm saying it ultimately come to a judgment call on the referee on whether that gentleman had the fourth down or not. Like, this was a winnable game. We literally gave them six from Jared Goff. Don't give me that shit. Don't blame any of this on an onside kick. It's, it's, just, it's weak. And I, I just, I'm not, I'm not going to have it. Yeah. Honestly, the, you know, Neil has, uh, there'll be, there'll be no uh, Joe Dumar slander. Although there's, you know, there's slanderous things you can say about Joe Dumar. But there's obviously a lot of good things to as a player and GM. But I'm, I'm going to have that up until... What's like the threshold, do you think? Huh? To so like, to like, where we open the gates. Where to you like can Dan slander Campbell Dan Campbell. Yeah. I mean, it depends on this year. 
if they go out there, if they double their win total, if they get to seven wins, then I'm fine with it. I don't care. It, it, it's a rebuild. We're still in a rebuild. I don't care how much Kool-Aid you drank, how much you loved the team, how much Hard Knocks inspired you. This team is not ready to contend yet. We're still two, three years out before we're going to be an actual contender. Yeah. We need to fix the defense, and we need a quarterback. So if they go out there and they hang and bang with teams like they did with the Eagles and they lose by three points, I'm fine with it. If they go out there and they produce and they get – if they're losing 45-6 to six to teams like this, yeah. then I'll talk about Dan Campbell. But if they're keeping it close against good teams, if they're winning the games they're supposed to win, that's very important, and that's what I like to see. Yeah, honestly, the fact that like we were still a one-score game, even after the fact of the onside kick, as – more evidence of him being a good coach than not. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. like you said, yeah, they did get the ball extra time closer to their end zone and scored. And we still had a chance it to win. It was still a three-point game. More, yeah, yeah, more point that he is a good coach. Just, I'm not having it, man. I'm not having it. But uh, make sure you guys hit like button if you haven't already. If you are in the Metro Detroit area or you ordered a shirt, come on up to the Coliseum Nightclub, guys. We are turning up. It's Woodward Heavyweights. I'm Boise. I'm my man Spin More Racks. We'll be right yes, back. Sir.